The majority of people that live on this bayou know me very well and tend to look out for me since my husband passed away. They, you know, do the heavy lifting or make sure I've got a shoulder to cry on if I need one. And, you know, so everybody stops here. I'm the mayor. By the beginning of 2010, even though it was a very, very hard winter, we were all, as a community, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The uh, commercial shrimpers, the commercial crabbers, the oyster fishermen, even the recreational fishermen were starting to have good catches, good produce, good production. The outlook was pretty optimistic. Um, more of the young families were back. More of the boats were working on a regular basis, so things were starting to look really, really good for our community. Then the oil disaster happened, uh, and virtually the first step was to close down the commercial fishing and the recreational fishing initially. So the guys that were just barely able to feed their families suddenly had zero income, and that caused a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. BP came in and developed the Vessel for Opportunity Vessel of Opportunity program. And that sounds really, really great on the front, but there were some problems with it. Um, for instance, one of the boats that parks on my dock all the time is usually a captain and two deckhands. When when he was hired on by BP, he could only have, because of the size of his boat, he could only have one deckhand. So where there were three jobs in the commercial fishing industry, there only became two in the Vessel of Opportunity program. I would say, just right off the bat, a third of the people were not offered jobs simply because they were the extra deckhand. And what those of us that live here know for sure is that we have people from Maine, from California, from North Carolina, from from all over the country. In addition to uh, three buses that are bused in from other parishes here in, in the state, there are people that have absolutely zero knowledge of St. Bernard Marsh and they were given jobs in lieu of the people that live here in Noah having those jobs. Closer Marsh and questions were being asked about the safety of it and if they were going to have rebreathers or respirators or something like that. They were given Tyvek suits and uh, latex gloves and given brief information about how to handle the oil. They were actually using swimming pool skimming nets to scoop tar balls out of the water and put them into plastic trash cans on their boats. very heavy oil, very uh, strong odors in the area they were working, and yet they were told in a safety meeting that respirators and rebreathers were not necessary because they weren't being overly exposed. Oh, no, no, I thought you meant the fit. In the meantime, they don't have any choice. If they're going to have any income that's not handed to them, they have to work for BP. They can't go out and get another job. They have to work the water. Um, a lot of the people down here are extremely proud and tend to be very self-reliant. So they don't go ask for help. You know, you don't want your hand out. You want the world to go back to the way it was. And uh, that's really not happening in my world right now.